Hi, hello. Let's talk about your body for a minute. You're beautiful, you're magnificent, you're miraculous body. Hi, I'm Daniela Wise. I'm a nutritionist, I'm a healer, I'm a clinical hypnotherapist, I'm a counselor, and I'm also a strategic intervention coach. So, truth be told that um, most of us don't exactly stop to think what our body actually really does. We know we have it and so we grow one with it, but we don't appreciate it. And when it gets sick, we even start to really dislike it and then we want a new one. And I know you're probably sitting there screaming at me right now, give me the goodies, tell me what works, what pills or powder should I buy, tell me the supplements and what recipes. I get asked that all the time as if there was no other way, it has to be a little pill. We've been so, so brainwashed to think that this is the only way it works and this is how it should be. But here's the thing, it, it actually does not work like that. In fact, it doesn't work at all. Why? Because with the little white pills, you're not ever removing the cause. You're simply swapping out symptoms. Well, I can actually tell you in one word what works, but it is not the entire story. But the word is fruit. But that doesn't tell you which fruit. Is it only fruit? Can you mix it? What with? All day long? How much? How will I feel? Will it change how I feel in a week, in a day, in a month? two months. Does it heal X, Y, Z? What if I can't eat fruit right now? And why is it fruit anyway? Oh Christ. Um, I've just, <laughs> I'm just being surrounded here by a wasp. Okay, great. Um, so where was I? Why fruit? Yes. Um, there is an explanation to this and why it has actually worked for hundreds of thousands of people. So Let's play this through though. Um, I say fruit and you go away and you try that for a while and you then end up giving up because you have no idea if it's working or if it's going to work or what to do and how to do it or if what you're experiencing is normal, how long you should feel the way you do and what to do to help your digestion, what you can do to help the entire process. If you're going to need supplements, are you going to be deficient or are you not? And the list goes on and on and on. You know, I, I actually work with, um, with vegans frequently, people who have tried the fruit and the vegetable and all sorts of things, the raw vegans even, and they've tried tinctures and nothing has worked. Why? Because there's a, there's a process. It's like a recipe. Um, I always liken it really to a recipe because that's in essence what it's like. So if you get any of the steps wrong, it just will not work. You've got to get your steps right. And we, we need to stop really to try or to wear this almost like a badge of honor to not get help. You know, times have changed. There's so much to know out there that we need to get help for things we don't know enough of. It's, otherwise, it's like playing the lottery. But at this point, your health is at stake. And while you're sick, literally, your, your life passes you by. And it's really not sensible, nor is it really intelligent, because it's just the same as picking up a random volume of, of a law book, thinking it's going to help you when you have a legal battle. But here, your health is at stake. Let's get real for a moment. What are you going to do when things get progressively worse? It just makes no sense, whichever way we look at this. So the body is basically made of cells. It's over a hundred trillions of them. And then there's blood, which delivers the food. And then there's a lymphatic system, which is your flushing system, your sewer system. And all our organs, our glands, our bones, our hair, our skin, everything. It's all made from cells and cells need feeding. And what is fed, whatever it is, always, always needs to eliminate everything that feeds. And if there's a problem in this simple process, 
your body suffers and it develops disease. And it becomes a widespread problem in your body because the lymphs are everywhere. And if you have a weakness in the body, genetic or acquired, it doesn't really matter. You tend to get the, the, the symptoms starting in that particular place first. It could be your heart, it could be your veins, it could be your lungs, it could be your colon, it could be really anything. And in order to keep the system in flow, we need to feed the cells right. So we have lots of happy, smiling cells all around our body um, that are full of energy and um, we have a sewer system that doesn't back up and block us from toes to head because that's the way it works. We tend to fill up literally from the bottom to the top when it comes to the lymphs and we eliminate from, we basically pull out the plug from the kidneys, right? So I cannot stress enough the importance of keeping your GI tract happy and to keep the adrenals and kidneys functioning literally at top level. This is so important because it is key, literally, to getting out of disease if you are in disease. Without that, you cannot achieve long-term health. It's impossible. And in, in my work, I always start with that. We make sure you know exactly what to eat, what to drink, what to expect, what to do next. And you also learn what to do long-term if ever you feel your body slipping back again. And this is fundamentally a gift for life because you really get to learn what to do forever going forward. So I need you to understand that when you have a disease, you need to enable the flow of feeding and eliminating. So basically cleanse the body so profoundly that it can transport away what we've stored up and then to carry on doing it because it's a natural process. And certainly whatever gets killed in that process, you know, like cells, it's a, that is actually called a mac macrophage. It's dead or damaged cells are just being eliminated and they get out of your body. So it's nature's law to kill the weak. And so the cell goes and the body, once the flow is reinstated, can regenerate that cell, which is what the body does when all symptoms function. And that is, in really simplistic terms, the way it works to heal, to put your body in a position to heal itself. Because again, you and I can't heal it. It'll do it all by itself as long as we give it the possibility to do so. Okay, I hope this makes sense. So the glands, let me just go to the glands a little bit because the glands basics, we've, got, we've talked about the two fluids and the, and the cells. And then we have the glands. The glands run the body. They're like a management team and that management team works together. The pituitary is the boss, although it itself is actually controlled by the hypothalamus at the back just in the brain. So the pituitary, the pituitary gland gives the marching orders to the rest of the cells. So the thyroid, for example. And I still get clients who've been misdiagnosed with a, um, a, you know, with, a, with a thyroid disorder, when in actual fact, it was the pituitary. And if the pituitary is not functioning the way it should be, the thyroid is sitting there, finger tapping away, waiting for the boss to tell it what to do next. There are lots of other glands, and I did a quick video with an overview a while ago, but I do, Today, I do want to mention the adrenals again, because the adrenals are super, super important. If they're down, we really can only run a 30 to 40%, literally, because nothing works. You see, the adrenals control our nervous system, which, you know, our autonomic nervous system, which includes the peristaltic, for example. So how food moves through your bowels, but so much more than that. And if the adrenal is down, you will eventually find every sofa very, very attractive. That's if you can even lift your head off your pillow in the morning. It's really that bad. And you can probably imagine that this is not from today to tomorrow this happens. It's a slow progression. And the, the longer you wait, the longer it takes for you to turn this around. And a decline in your health, especially adrenal health, can have a, a massive impact on your life. You get so tired, you can't work. You then don't have an income and then you can't afford getting well anymore and you can't afford getting help anymore. So do not wait to get help if you suffer from fatigue. If you're not feeling right, get help. It will actually, it will cost you dearly if you wait. And I mean, I, I mean this very sincerely. 
And what most people don't appreciate is how much everything in the body is linked, but maybe this will help you. So the body in your mom, in your mother's body develops um, like this, right? It develops from the colon tissue and it opens up like this. So we, everything is, is, is created from, from that particular tissue. So our back, our bones, our brains, our intestines, the head, the feet, the eyes, everything. It is also that way of unfolding actually that makes it possible for, uh, for us to see weaknesses in the body through the iris, so your eyes, and it all comes from one tissue. And more often than not, people with, uh, you know, with lower, lower back pain um, and, and lower back uh, degeneration have weak kidneys. And people who have weak kidneys have weak adrenals. And people who have a weak thyroid often have a weak parathyroid. And a weak parathyroid um, basically means, um, it means depression, it means irregular menses, it means difficult menopause, it means... Um, postnatal depression, and you can very, you, you can sometimes tell um, because you get, you bruise very easily. So if we have a chronic disease, why do we also have other unrelated symptoms such as gut problems? Because it is all linked and it starts with the cells and the two fluids. So I shared uh, recently um, a video about, um, you know, about the colon. So there's various colonoscopies going on and you can see the diagnosis, and then you can see what the colon looks like. And I think that speaks more than words ever could. How much our a disease is linked to the colon and what you can actually see what's going on in the colon when you have a chronic disease, it's incredible. And now you finally also know why treating a thyroid or an adrenal can never work. You can't take these in isolation. You have to look at the cause and understand that the body is a tremendous, finely tuned system. And without actually looking at it that way, you're not ever going to truly enable the body to repair itself. It's impossible. So if any of this has whet your appetite for health and you're serious about it, I would like to offer you an hour of my time and we can talk this through in the context of your particular situation. Message me and we will take it from there. You're only one decision away from turning your health around. So I think by now you know how to get in touch with me, but if you don't, um, you can send me a private message via, uh, via the Facebook group, um, or uh, there's, there's, a, there's a URL for it, which is m.me forward slash reset your body now. So that's m.me forward slash reset your body now. Or you can go to my website, which is danielarweiss.com forward slash apply. That's Daniela R W E I S dot com forward slash apply. Until then, please dare to dream and do take control of your health. Bye bye.